Welcome to Yavit and Terra Kadamba. We had the good fortune of visiting Lysis today. We're, we're grateful to our ancestors, Vrajranab, and especially in recent times, Lord Chaitanya and his followers for maintaining and sometimes rediscovering these holy places so that we can come here. Uh, we know that visiting holy places is one of the potent items of devotional service that can awaken devotional feelings even in a neophyte. So we're very grateful to be here. Yavad is the place where Radharani came when she was married. There was actually a wonderful palace here, but to her it uh, felt as if it was a prison. Of course, we know that her so-called husband was actually the shadow of Krishna, Abhimanyu. So it's a very mysterious Leela. It was to enable the, their uh, Parakya Ras and their meeting. So there are many pastimes here of how Radha and Krishna met secretly and sometimes Abhimanyu became the butt of jokes and so many things. It was a very wonderful place and there's an ancient tree here which is also very powerful, been here for so many years.
after that, we'd take this wonderful walk through the fields to Terracadumba. Beautiful walk. And Terracadumba, of course, this is the place where Krishna kept his cows and uh, he called them. He climbed up in the Kadamba trees and called them in the evening by playing his flute. When the cows heard his flute, they actually heard each of their names and they would come here. And sometimes Radharani and Krishna would exchange glances at this place. And in more recent times, uh, this was the place of Rupa Goswami's bhajan. So that's uh, very wonderful for us because he wrote Upadesh Amrita in this place. And there's a very famous pastime where uh, Rupa Goswami wanted to give his uh, brother, older brother Sanatan Goswami, something, you know, to greet him and offer him some food stuff. And just when he was thinking in this way, this beautiful young gopi came with a pot of sweet rice on her head and said, you know, Baba, please take this. You know, we just had a wedding in the village. And so he offered this to his brother. And later on, they discovered that this was actually Radharani who had brought this. And they were lamenting that we want to serve Radharani. We don't want to take service from her. So all of these wonderful pastimes took place at this uh, here. And as usual, we engage in the process of hearing and chanting, especially chanting this Maha Mantra, and this enables us to some, in some way feel and become purified and feel and enter into these wonderful pastimes that took place here. So we're very grateful today to be at Terakadamba and Yavit. Hope you enjoy this video and can also feel some of the mood of this place. Thank you, Hare Krishna.